Guten Tag and welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die, episode 13, I think. With yours truly, Dirk, or Buster, whichever you prefer, it's the same to me. So, <laughs> uh, we are uh, more or less where we left off last time. We started digging off the top of the hill um, to make this here the farming area of the island. And um, I think I said it, I'm not quite sure though, um, that I want to go inside it, hollow out this little um, island hill and put the, um, the more important stuff, so to speak, inside the hill, like the smell trees and chemistry station, workbench, stuff like that. So we have it in a more secure place. Uh, and last time I spent a lot of um, points into, um, into steel smithing and we actually want to look into that today. So we are still a few, let's see, feed it a little bit of wood. And there you go. Just in case you didn't know that, by right click and dragging a stack of um, items, you can split it in half. Uh, that way you can easily try to split a stack like this. But I am pretty sure you knew that anyway. So melt more of the iron and um, I guess make more steel. I have 50 arrowheads left. Do I have um, arrows left? Doesn't seem that way. Maybe make 50 more. Then we have still some left. Make more steel. Very nice. Good. And from the steel... Oh, that was the problem. Oh, right. I remember now. <laughs> we can't make steel tools because we need the workbench for it. That was one of the big letdowns last time. Here, a steel pickaxe. We actually need the workbench. This is the icon right next to it for the steel shovel as well. And to craft the workbench, we need um, these mechanical parts, which we can um, we can harvest from different things by using a wrench on it. So, oh, maybe stop that and make a little bit of iron, because we still need iron. How much can we make? 80? Make 50. And then make steel of the rest. Good. Nice. So, um, I will get rid of a few parts and prepare myself for a nice little journey and then we will be back. Alright, we are good to go. So, um, a few things I want to do on the run. First of all, I'm crafting a bunch of wooden frames because I want to start and finish uh, <laughs> um, a bridge. So, we really want to have a bridge to go over from one side here to the other. And to do that, we will make a very, very simple bridge. Um, let's see. This is the last block that is now on solid um, on solid ground. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. What? Why did that happen? Okay, so this is solid ground. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, and even seven should work. It doesn't. Hmm. Okay, then only six. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was wrong. Four, five, six. And the seventh must come up from all the way down. Good. What the heck? Why is that not working? Is it interfering with the water? Uh, let's see. Remove all this here. This was not the way it was supposed to start today. <laughs> okay, place one there. One, two, three. Oops. No, no. Three, four, five, and six. And then we have no uh, here and here. Yeah, this holds up now. 
And another one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and we are on solid ground. No, we are not. This is solid ground now. Okay, it seems to interfere with the water in some way. That is really odd. Do you know what I really miss? Is the feature from Minecraft where you can sneak and place blocks underneath you. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So, but anyway, you get the gist. Let me finish uh, all the way to that side. Interesting thing to know. They actually walk uh, on the floor of the sea. So that is good to know. We actually know they can cross that way. They don't swim. Oh boy! I had to punch a heck load. Uh, I had to what? <laughs> I had to fight a heck load of zombies to get here. They are all down here now. Uh, well, most of them, and plenty of them over there. I looted them already. I will try to get to these here as well. But at least the bridge is done. We can actually loot them. Very nice. Um, so I guess we should not drink from this water anymore because this is contaminated now. Ooh, well, okay, it should be more even. Oh, down there, I think. So, but the bridge is done. Um, it is not the most beautiful thing you ever will see in your life, but it will bring us uh, uh, with dry feet from A to B. Or for the mere nonconformist, from B to A. <laughs> Just in case you wonder, that is not... That is not said by me. That is from Wildstar, actually. Oh man, I hit you right in the chest. Instead of... No, 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 no! Dare you bro break down my bridge! Come on, come on! No! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> then it's usually he's even, even dead. Die already! <sighs> Good. So a bunch of them came over here and basically wrecked my day. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Good. So, let's see. Yeah, okay, we are on flat ground, so this is very nice. Uh, we have now a solid bridge from A to B. I have to... Um, more zombies. I have to fortify it with uh, wood, of course. But for now, at least, with wood. So it doesn't break uh, that easy. Where is he? Ha! I didn't thought I could hit it underwater. Oh, bad aim. Bad aim. As usual. And he dead. Good. Okay, let's see what he has. Man, you are so slow underwater. It's really annoying. Good. But the intention for today was um, originally something completely different. Because we needed um, mechanical parts. And we will still go hunt for them. Um, I got a few comments about that. Uh, and um, one comment said, you can harvest uh, lights, a certain type of light. To get mechanical parts of it. Mm, this water looks really weird. I thought uh, they said in one patch they would have fixed it. Hmm, doesn't seem that way. Okay, we will try to start off with that house over there and see if we can actually fight. Fight? <laughs> I'm totally... Uh, okay, find uh, lights over here. Oh, maybe it doesn't... My, this one? Uh, well, let's see. What did he say? He breaks it down with this a little and finish it off with this. Is this actually what he means? By standing lights? Let's see. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I screwed that up. Um, maybe you have to take him from a, from the bottom? Uh, from the top? I don't know. No, all we have now is a bunch of wood. 
So whoever commented it, yeah, I mean it was, see, I don't know anymore. Uh, whoever commented it, please let me know if that is uh, what you thought I had to do. But that was definitely not the thing. We can break down this one here as well, but I think this gives only electrical parts. Um, I don't know, I think. Ah, well, let's see. Let's break it down completely and see what we have here. Yeah, electrical parts. That was exactly what I was thinking. Door is locked. I wasn't in here before. Huh. I could have sworn I was in here. And these here give also electrical parts, if I am not mistaken. But we need this stuff anyway to build a lot of different things. We need the electrical parts, of course, as well. And this is electrical component. Oh, we have no longer room in inventory. We can just scrap this, scrap that, scrap everything. Scrap you. So, um, scrap it. Oh, eat it. Nice. And scrap that as well. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, while I'm doing these things, uh, I might, I could um, as well talk about the series and where I want to go with it. So, um, so far, the first 12 episodes, uh, I am not really that satisfied with how they turned out. Oh, let's see. That could be interesting. Well, not really. Pistol parts. Can we scrap something? Uh, can we get rid of something? Oh, we don't need this here. Scrap that. Good. Um, get rid of the flash. Nice. So, the first um, 12 episodes so far are not really um, that satisfying to me how they turned out and I think um, I know why because I am under so much pressure to get an episode per day and I'm al always fixated on this time period of one day because the night is terrible so I will try to squeeze all oh, this only glass that is stupid squeeze as much as I can into one day and be afraid of the night and try to um, to uh, let you take part in every single day, in every single minute, which is, of course, just not possible. And there's no second story. It looked so tall from the outside. <laughs> it's taller from the inside. Um, so instead of focusing so much on a single day or a specific period of time, I thought I might go another route uh, forget about all this day-night stuff and play it like I would play uh, a session of Minecraft. Let's see, do we have more houses here? There's another one. I will go over there and try to break the lights in there. Do we take this one? Yeah, do we take it? Uh, good. So, what I will do instead is forget about all this day-night nonsense. And don't try to let you uh, be part in every single day and every single minute. Um, instead, I will go on um, on material hunting sessions, on grinding sessions, go out in the woods, chop down trees, um, and uh, go out and look for uh, mining nodes, go out and mine, slash some stones, and so on and so on. You know where I'm getting. So I will have these kind of grinding sessions. Um, off camera most likely, or maybe at the beginning of an episode and just um, show you the yield. We can do, oh no, we can't. Inventory is almost filled up. What you really need is um, electrical, no, no, mechanical parts. Because I want to have that um, working bench. So, uh, as I said, I will try to focus less on keeping you ahead on every single day and more on keeping things going and um, actually achieving stuff. So, as I said last time, the, you know, one of the goals is to have uh, uh, a functioning functioning base over there. No, that's the wrong island. There, with a hollowed out um, hill and a working farm on top and stuff like that. And to actually do that, I have to spend um, a lot of time grinding and being off camera doing actually that kind of thing. And um, I will do that. And I don't find any mechanical parts. 
Which is a shame. Uh, head over there. Man, I can't remember what he said. Standing lights? Something like that? Oh, you know what? I will look it up. Give me a second. I think it might have been a misunderstanding. Um, because in a later uh, comment he said that he got um, electrical parts of it. So well, no, we only had that one. Uh, where's actually the entry? Oh, this is our old home. It's the, the rough stairs. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have another sort of light here. We don't. There was another sort of light. I, I uh, was pretty sure we had them here as well. Uh, no, we haven't. So we have no lights in here. No mechanical parts at all. Do we have still stuff here? Yeah, we, what we do have is zombies outside. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, come over. Still missed you. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't want to deal with zombies right now. Um, I don't know if you uh, watch the uh, weekly thing from Joel with the um, graphic designer. Oh, whoa. Uh, the graphic designer of um, Seven Days to Die. Uh, can't they go up in a straight... Thank you. Uh, he shows off once a week uh, what content they actually um, work on and what is intended for the next patch and stuff like that. And the next patch would be... Oh, well, we're quite late. Ooh, it is only 9 p.m. Uh, al already 9 p.m. So, um, he talked about every week, uh, usually on Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure, in a YouTube video, and he shows content that they are currently working on. And for the next patch, for patch um, 16, they intend to bring a um, electrical system. So we have actually electrical currents we can work with, made from generators and fed into lights and stuff like that. And not only into lights, even in automatic killing um, um, machinery, like for example, a grinder, or an automatic flame turret, which is absolutely amazing. I was hoping we get stuff like that, for example, like like Redstone and Minecraft, for so long now. I follow this game for one and a half years or stuff like that, and I was always hoping we would get some sort of automation, which it seemed that way. Oh, <laughs> someone else mentioned I can remove this, and then it doesn't make this icky squishy sound <laughs> it doesn't slow us down i know about that i know I, i'm just lazy so um there will come oh i missed the bridge there will come some sort of um electrical system or electrical um integration so we can actually automate things and make use for example of electrical lights which is absolutely amazing in my opinion you can see the weird thing on the left hmm. I just I think it's just a texture texture bug texture glitch okay so we have really something to look forward to um, and um, as well as that we have many many additions that will come to alpha 6 <laughs> oh no 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 this is actually the worst I'm bleeding I'm bleeding oh no 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 Whoa! Um, first aid, first aid, use, use, use. Whoa! <laughs> Can't be! I fought, what, 30 th zombies earlier? And only with the stupid... What is this here? With a barbed club and... Whoa! That is the texture glitch. Uh, and with just a few arrows and then I almost die to my own defense system. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so, um, it is almost night. I will um, hunker down, wait for the night to go over. This episode is also over. Um, for the next day, I have planned to run around and gather a lot of resources. I don't want to record. It is really, really boring to watch, and I don't want to show you that. Then, when I have enough stuff, I will... Um, Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. 
No, no, I can't. I can't uh, actually <laughs> use that right now. Go away. Oh, he will tear it down. I know it. I know it. I know it. Huh. Ooh. Oh. All right then. <laughs> Man, I don't want to deal with zombies. It's only day nine. Uh, okay. So, as I said, I will just hunker it down and sit this one out. They can't do anything to me at all. I will just wait over here so they don't mess up with my things. And then I will get the resources and then we will actually do things. So, until the next episode, take care of yourself, guys, and rock on.